In this video, let us learn to draw the use case diagram for the topic hospital management system. So in the previous video, we learned the rules on how to draw the use case diagram. So I have attached the link of that video in the description. So please look into that video and then if you look into this, you'll be able to understand it properly. So check the video in the description first, then look this video. So the first step for drawing the use case diagram is we have to choose the actors. We learned in the rules that there should be at least two actors in a use case diagram. That is two actors should compulsorily be there. You can have even more than two actors. So in this diagram, we are going to have five actors. We learned that actor it should it is not necessary that it should definitely be a real person. It can be some system also. Or it can also be group of some people. So now we'll draw actor like this. So in this diagram, I'm going to use five actors. So this is actor one. Next actor two. Next actor three. Next, actor 4, then finally, actor 5. So, totally I have drawn 5 actors in this diagram. So, I am going to name the first actor as doctor because when you hear the name hospital management system, automatically a doctor will come to your mind. Next patient will come to your mind. So I'm writing this actor as patient. Next, a receptionist will be there in the hospital. So receptionist, I'm writing it as an actor. Next, record system should be maintained in a hospital. So record system is an actor. Next, information system is an actor because information, that is information about the patient, the reports of the patient is very important to maintain. So that is an actor which is information system. So totally five actors are there in this diagram. Doctor, record system, receptionist, information system and patient. So this is the first step. So when you hear the word hospital, automatically a doctor, a patient or receptionist will be there in a hospital and then the record system and information system has to be maintained in a hospital. So those two are also the actors. The second step is we have to draw the use case for every single actor. Use case will be writing it inside a ellipse. So for each actor you have to draw the corresponding use cases. So for doctor, I have to write the use cases. Next for record system, the use cases. Next for receptionist, the use cases. Next for information system, the use cases. And then lastly, for patient, what are, what are all the use cases? I have to write them. So if you take doctor, I'm going to write use cases by drawing an ellipse. So create prescription. And another use case I'm going to draw and write looks into the reports. So, if a patient is going to a doctor, the patient, I mean the doctor will not just like that prescribe the medicines to the patient. Because now if a person has got some injury in the leg and the person is bleeding, and if the person has sugar, the medicine given to this person should be different. We cannot give the normal bleeding medicines which we give to a normal patient to a sugar patient. So, looks into the report of the patient. So, the doctor should look into the report of the patient. So, if the patient is having sugar, then the doctor will prescribe different medicines to that patient. If a person is bleeding and if the person is not having sugar, the medicines prescribed to that patient will be different. 
so looking into the report is very important the doctor will first look into the report of the patient only after looking at the reports the doctor will prescribe the medicines to the patient so these two are the use cases so after drawing the use cases and the actors we have to join the use case and actor by using a connector so connector is a line so i am joining the actor and the use case by using a connector this line is known as connector next let us look into the use cases of record system so record system so in a hospital they have to maintain the records of doctor and nurses so delete doctor is an use case next add doctor is an use case so now who are all the doctors working in an hospital so those doctors you have to add in the system and you have to maintain the record of those doctors now for example if some doctor has left because the doctor wants to open a new clinic a separate new clinic and he wants to do his job separately he doesn't want to be a part of this hospital anymore at that time we have to delete that doctor's details and records we have to delete the doctor's current tracking status and all so we have to delete the doctor's record because no longer the doctor belongs to this hospital if some new doctor has joined this hospital then we have to add that doctor and the details of that doctor next add nurse details so we have to first see who are all the nurses working in the hospital and we have to add those nurses name and their records next delete nurse details so if some nurse has left the job then we have to delete the details of that nurse from this hospital next edit doctors details so if the doctor has given a phone number and now he or she has changed the phone number so you want to edit it, edit the phone number in the system at that time you can click on this edit option and change the phone number of the doctor next edit nurse details so now if the nurse has changed the address like has shifted the house to some other place so the nurse wants to update the new address then you can use this edit nurse details option in the record system and change the address of the nurse so these are all the use cases of record system now we have to join this actor and the use case by using a connector which is a line so i have to join them like this okay so now we have finished drawing the use cases for doctor and for record system next it is for the receptionist manage calls can be an use case for the receptionist so if the patient wants to get appointment to meet a doctor so the receptionist will only be picking up the call and will be arranging for an appointment so managing calls job will be done by the receptionist admission for the patient so after visiting the hospital and meeting the doctor if the patient has to be admitted those things will be seen by the receptionist and they will be arranging the room for the patient next check for the appointment so when someone enters the hospital the receptionist will ask like are you a new visitor or you have an appointment with the doctor all that will be checked by the receptionist only so these are the use cases so if the patient has to be admitted those details which room they have to get admitted who will be giving the facilities 
to the patient who will bring the food who will be looking after which doctor will be looking after every day all that will be said by the receptionist to the patient next the appointment status will also be checked by the receptionist managing the calls of the patient will also be done by the receptionist so these three are the use cases of receptionist now i have to connect the use case and the actor by drawing a connector so now i have finished for receptionist too next is for the information system so admission reports is an important thing which has to be maintained so till now how many patients have been admitted and how well they have been treated and all those records all those reports should be maintained and how many have passed away and how many got cured so all those reports should be maintained the admission reports is very important next discharge reports so who all got discharged from the hospital and who are still admitted and still there in rooms so admission reports should also be maintained discharge reports should also be maintained next the details of the patient should also be maintained so patient details should also be maintained the name of the patient address of the patient their medical history reports everything should be maintained and the tablets they are in taking every day that should be maintained everything should be maintained and then the appointment history of the patient of the hospital like of all the patients in the hospital their appointment history should also be maintained so i'm going to draw these use cases i mean join these use cases using a connector with the actor the last one is patient so patient will make payment so after visiting the hospital they have to pay doctor fee next request for appointment so patient will be making a request for the appointment by calling to the receptionist so request for appointment will be done by the patient so i have to join these two use cases using a connector with the actor patient so these are the this is the use case diagram so these are the use cases and these are the actors so after drawing all of this the last step is i have to draw a system boundary system boundary means you have to i have to draw a box i have to leave these actors and i have to draw the box for the rest like this i have to draw a box like this i i just have to leave the actors outside so inside the box they will be connectors and the use cases outside the box they will be actors so this box is known as system boundary so inside this big box i have to write a heading which is related to this diagram so this diagram is about hospital management so i have to write a topic for this box inside which is hospital management system so if i have drawn a diagram for online shopping then inside i have to write online shopping system so related topic for this diagram i have to write inside the system boundary which is a big box so this is how you will draw the use case diagram for the topic hospital management system if you like this video please like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you